Hey guys, it's David and Boki from Gigi's Fabric Shop, home of Juki Junkies. And today we're going to be going over a topic that we've probably never gone over before. I so, don't think so, yeah. What's the best computerized machine for you? And stick around and watch this whole video all the way through because we're going to figure out really what machine, what computerized machine fits you the best because right. there's a lot of different people out there. A lot of scenarios. So <laughs> it's going to be a pretty interesting video. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so there's going to be three people that we believe are looking for a computerized machine, and go ahead and go over the three categories you think, yeah. or at least the first one. Yeah, maybe. so like the first one would be truly like the beginner, like the person mm -hmm. just starting fresh in this hobby that doesn't know how to get into it. You know, they're just looking for something not to break the bank, but to dive into this hobby first. The second one would be the person maybe who's had a sewing machine for a little while, it's time to get rid of it, time to upgrade that 10, 15 year old machine. And the third one was kind of the fun one. Maybe you already have a couple machines in your stash and you just feel like you're still missing something. Juki is a really awesome brand and they have lots of computerized machines and mechanical machines. So uh, maybe you just want to get caught up on what's new and see if there's something that you could find as a valuable addition to your stash at home. Correct. Awesome. And some of the most popular people that we see looking for a computerized machine would probably be... Um, people that are just kind of getting into sewing yeah, or upgrades, really. The upgrades, I feel like, is the one I hear the most. Mm -hmm. It's like, I've had this machine for a really long time. She's dying out on me. I need something else, you know? Yeah, and there's just so many different options with all the computerized machines out yeah. there, so it's very stressful when you're trying to figure out which one is right for you. So that's why we kind of want to make this video because me and Boki kind of deal with this on a daily basis. Yeah. It's our job to figure out what machine fits you guys the best. Yeah. Um, so we are an authorized Juki and Janome dealer, and we ship all around the United States. Yeah. Um, so if you ever have any questions on any of these machines, feel free to reach out to mm -hmm. us at any point in this video. You can just stop it, click in the description, and there's gonna be our contact information there. Yep. Um, but let's kind of go over with the, you know, the first machines and kind of work our way up to the top, which are sure. the top dogs we like to call them, yeah. which is you know the nicest of the nicest computerized machines yeah, out there. They're the top dogs. <laughs> yeah. They're pricey, but they're really, really cool. But they so offer a lot. They so. offer a ton. Yeah. And so let's start off with, let's say, travel machines, because yeah. that'll kind of start with, you know, that'll that'll cover the beginner sewers. Yeah, it's the most budget friendly. Um, it's the beginner sewers. Mm -hmm. It's that easy to travel with machine category. By the way, on jukijunkies.com, you guys can reference some um, comparison. comparison charts that we've made. So we've done a pretty good job of breaking it down exactly how we're going to be talking about them in the video today. Yeah. So check those out um, in the description below. Um, but travel machines are going to be those really lightweight machines. They're usually under 15 pounds most of the time very easy to travel around with if you're a straightforward machine you know they're not the most powerful thing out there but they're great to travel with they're great to start off with you know you don't want to travel with your DX7 or your TL machine so you need something lighter weight to do those little projects um, and then of course if you're just starting out you don't want to invest a lot of money into this yeah. hobby right away but you want something that's not going to break on you in a month right so or you're looking for a computerized machine for a family member or a yeah or a kid in your family or a grandkid or a daughter yeah. or something <laughs> along the lines of that and you're right. not wanting to buy them, you know, a super expensive nice computerized machine because they're kind of just getting into the hobby. You want them just right. kind of get their feet wet and figure out what they might like. Mm -hmm. um, if they like it, then maybe you upgrade them and you're watching this video for the upgrade. Yeah. Uh, so computerized or travel machines, you know, they're, they're in the ballpark of what, like 500 and less usually? Yeah, they're usually 500 and less, yeah. So okay. there's right now there's four models in the travel machine category. I know Juki's gonna do some new stuff, so we'll add some more when that comes. But um, right now they have four machines. They have the LB series and mm -hmm. then they have the K series. Um, so we should, I don't know if we've done a video on those comparisons Probably yet, but not, if no. not, we'll do that. I think we did a travel one though. But anyways, yeah. those are those four machines. Refer to the comparison charts in there so you can understand the differences. But usually you're gonna notice a very common trend between the differences in the machines in the categories, meaning accessories, number of stitches. Um, and me and David will highlight those mechanical differences that are really important, things mm -hmm. that you can't buy. Because remember, you can always buy accessories, but there's features that are you can't buy. Those Correct. come with, with those machines. So. And you can find all of these on the comparison yeah. chart to kind of really break down exactly. each individual machine. But mainly the differences between all the travel machines is, is accessories, stitches, stitches, accessories, 
There's nothing really major for features on any of them. Only is there? thing that's bigger on the uh, K series is that the so the HZL 70 and the HZL 80 those are a little bit stronger. They're about okay. 100 stitches per minute faster, so they're going to have a little bit of a stronger motor. Me and Gigi have done a little side by side on those two machines. We found that the K series did better on like the thicker materials. Like we sewed a little bit of denim, we sewed a little bit of cork on there. So if you have that occasional project that you want to do on there, I noticed that those machines did a little better on those. For my piecers and my quilters, the LB5020 and the 5100, you guys are going to love those. Those are yes. great. And we sell those all the time to people yeah. that are literally just wanting a travel machine only. Yeah, they're like, I need something that for I can... For their RV, yes. for their the house in North Carolina right. or in Florida during the winter time. Up they don't the want to bring their big machine, but they want to have a nice little machine yeah. that can get the job done for pretty much exactly. all of their sewing needs. Retreats. Um, so yeah, those are really good options. And keep in mind, we are a Janome authorized dealer as well. Yes. So we do have some Janomes to offer for travel machines as yeah. well. Uh, and one of the ones I would like to highlight is the HD series. Mm -hmm. um, there's the HD 3000, which is, I think we actually did a video on Janome Junkies, so yes. head over there and check oh, that yeah, video out. We did. But that machine <laughs> is like insanely powerful. Oh yeah. It's got <laughs> it's a lot really of power strong. for the size machine that it is. And yeah. it's, it's a mechanical uh, decorative stitch machine. So there's really yeah. no computerized components, but you can actually switch between uh, zigzag, straight stitch, and mm -hmm. all those features with just a button. Um, so it's a little bit more old-fashioned, but it's very robust, very strong, and very I saw, powerful. I saw a guy sewed a yardstick on that machine, yeah. and I was like, I would never recommend that, but I just saw him do that, and I was like, oh my we gosh. <laughs> we sewed over some really thick layers on it that machine crazy. in the video, and yeah. it, was, it was impressive. So that's yeah. always a good option for possibly the travel machine person that's looking for something that can do their bags. Right, right, because so, it's, it's hard to find that machine that does bags that's lightweight to travel with, so correct. that could be a good alternative. It's not super expensive either. It's no. a really good price point. Yep. Um, so you guys could check that out. You can give us a call on that one too. For sure. And so now that we've kind of gone over the smaller machines, the travel machines mm -hmm. for the beginners, the travel people, um, let's kind of touch the next step up, which is really the F-Series, the G-Series. Yep. Um, and kind of go over what are the main differences between yeah. the two. So I think the main difference is the size of the machine, the power, the speed. Um, yeah. You know, obviously you're going to get probably more features, more stitches, more accessories, but the main yeah. seller is what? So the, the G series and the F series, me and David kind of brainstormed before we did this video, was that those machines are going to offer a little bit of a bigger throat space, yep. which is nice because, you know, that's always goes a long way. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a bigger throw space. It's going to be more of a powerful machine. It's going to sew faster. It's going to do more stitches per minute. And speed also plays part hand in hand with the, the strength of the motor. Um, so those machines are going to be a little bit more powerful. Uh, main differences between the G and the F really are just like the, doesn't, the G series doesn't have a needle up and down button, I think. And um, just really accessories um, and stitches. So those mm -hmm. are the core differences between those. We find that the G and the F series are the most popular machines for that person who is ready to make that next jump up. They've had the small travel machine, they're ready to upgrade. Um, they need something for, you know, they're not like a very versatile type of sewer. They do, they like their quilting, they like their garment sewing. The F series is particularly very popular for uh, garment sewers. Mm -hmm. We have a video on that and I talk about that too. Um, so that's a really great place where you don't want to spend a lot of money, you don't have a very big budget, and that's totally okay. Juki does a phenomenal job of giving you a very powerful machine within that price point. Um, so those are very great machines for the person who's ready to make that little upgrade there, but doesn't do maybe a large variety of sewing. You just want to do your quilting, piecing. Yep. You have the travel in. machine, you went through that stage, yeah. you're ready to upgrade to the next level, yeah, you're ready but to you're blossom. not ready for the the next next level so you're kind of just going up the ladder slowly so yeah. we're going from the travel to the g series or the mm -hmm. f series then the dx and then the top dogs yeah. so you're kind of just working your way up the ladder and the f series and the g series are really phenomenal machines they're some of our most popular computerized machines yeah. we sell them all the time mm -hmm. really the main difference is, is check out those comparison charts because yeah, you're going to really see all the differences between those models mm -hmm. it's really stitches accessories yeah. um the extension table comes with i think the f That's, series uh, the f600 yeah and then there is this new x3000 machine that they have which is pretty much a g series machine mm -hmm. that does come with the extension table and it's on sale the month of july Till the, thir uh, till the 30th, 30th, the end of the month. Okay. And it's like six ninety nine, so it's a really good oh, price really point because it has an extension table. Oh yeah. And it has, um, you know, extension pretty much a ton so of worth it. ton of stitches, ton of accessories. Okay, cool. So that's yeah. a really good option for you people. You want to hop on that deal if you're ready to upgrade. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So 
gone over that that next step. Mm -hmm. um, let's kind of go to the DX series. So what that is, yeah. you know, what what is that going to fit for the? So it's kind of funny because you would you would probably think like those would all be in the same category, like the F series and the DX series, but we really mm -hmm. keep them separate because so skeleton wise, they're exactly the same machine. They have the exact same build, the same throat space, the same everything. Um, the DX series starts to be more powerful, it's faster, and it offers more bells and whistles, meaning the pivoting feature, the floating feature, um, and those are very admirable features for somebody who is working with thicker fabrics. Like I have a lady who did jelly roll rugs so that was a great machine for her because she got to adjust that presser foot height for her jelly roll rugs uh, the bag maker um, you know you're maybe more versatile you don't know what you're gonna sew today maybe you're gonna do some bags maybe you're gonna do some garments maybe you're gonna do some quilts the DX series is like the most well-rounded yeah. group I would say um, because it does offer a lot again core differences are gonna be accessories number of stitches um, the lighting also changes as well but and we have a video going over yeah. all of the comparison Super in depth. on those. So we'll have that link in the description. For Super sure. in-depth. So, I mean, for that, would, what would you say? That's probably the best-selling machine that we have. The DX7 is the, the most popular computerized yeah, machine we for sell, sure. for sure. And really, that fits the person who's looking to upgrade from the F-Series or the travel machines, and they have that bigger budget for, mm -hmm. this, for this machine. Yeah. Um, and they want to kind of get everything they can possibly get in a computerized machine before getting to the top dog, which is the Mac Daddy, the best, it's like the Rolex or yeah. the Mercedes of cars, you know? Or even having a companion machine to your TL. So let's say you have or your TL yeah. and you're like, I really could use a zigzag <clears throat> and I need it to be kind of powerful. I need it to be versatile. That would be a great duo is having like the TL machine, like the TL 2010, let's say, or the TL 18, mm -hmm. and then pair it up with the DX5 or 7. I was telling Boki, it's kind of like comparing, like I like to always compare it to something that everybody does, whether <laughs> yeah. it's driving or cooking. So I like to say that the computerized machines, like an air fryer, everybody kind of has one nowadays because it's so easy to use and it has tons but of it's features fancy. and it's quick and you can yeah. just get things done easy. Yeah. And then the mechanical is like the skillet where it's like you're just you're never going to get rid of the skillet. You always have it in your kitchen. It's old, reliable. It's old, reliable. <laughs> it's strong. It cooks the food really fast and good. Yeah. Um, so you kind of have both of those in your arsenal. As, I love that. Um, it was as a so sewer. funny. So <laughs> computerized mechanical machines are both great machines to have in your arsenal for sure. Yeah, they're so, great. You know, the, the computerized, we've gone over the DX, we've gone over the F-Series, we've gone over the travel machines. So now we're kind of working our way up to the top dogs, so the top dogs. which is Boki's favorite machines to talk about. I love about those machines. Because <laughs> it pretty much carries all of the functions of everything below it, yeah. plus a ton more. So It is super spoiling. It's just very, sure. like, if you have, if your budget permits and you're allowed to, to just spoil yourself a little bit, uh, the top series, the top dog series is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So that would be like the NX7, the DX3000, and the 4000, yeah. which we have videos on those as well. So you guys can refer to that as well. Um, but those machines are going to be the, the machine for the person who really just wants to be spoiled, have all the bells and whistles. You want the biggest throat space. You're talking 12 inch throat space, the biggest space you have. So my free motion quilters, you're going to really admire that. Mm -hmm. Those machines have that built in walking foot. So if you are somebody who does bags, but you need zigzag, because you also like to quilt and you're very versatile so customizable i mean a built-in walking foot it's it's you're so just, cool boom the it's, walking foot yeah and working and it's <laughs> customizable it doesn't just go forward and backwards i talk about that in the comparison videos and you can use it with all your feet almost all almost it'll the all machine will okay. tell you which ones you can't use so, so it's smart, smart. it's yeah. a smart machine it's like a smartphone <laughs> and it has the same motor as a tl, a TL so it's got a very strong motor it's very powerful it's just it feeding more you know like a tl mm -hmm. just drives the needle literally just forward backwards yeah. where this is more sporadic it spreads it out through the different parts of the machine but it's pretty cool to know that it's they still have the very same powerful, motor yeah. yeah it's very very strong that is pretty cool and then another thing to keep in mind too when you're looking at machines in general is you want to be purchasing something that has a good, you know, it holds its retention, it, it holds its value for a long time, sure. and it's also got a good name for itself, such as Juki. Yeah. Um, since we have all these videos out there, there's some, tons of support, there's tons of users out there that are on Facebook, such as our Juki Junkies Facebook group, right. and our YouTube channel. There's a good market for these resells. So you know when you buy these things, you know, if you want to upgrade, you could always let it go and, and, and sell it for a good, good yeah. penny. I really ever see people trying to trade in a Juki. You don't, yeah. I, do you, honestly, no. I never feel like people call and they're like, oh, I have this Juki machine. I never hear it. I that's never why, do. That's why I brought it up because it's like <laughs> when I buy things, I like to buy things that I know I'm, I'm protecting my money. So when I buy right. it, I know that it's a good investment because mm -hmm. I know in a few, in a couple of years from now, if I'm ready to upgrade or if possibly I'm in a pinch and I need money, I can sell that 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 yeah. item or that that 
machine or mm -hmm. whatever it is that I'm buying yeah. and still get my money out of it. So computerized or Juki machines in general are really good at that because they have such a good name for themselves. They yeah. have good warranties. They have good customer service. Um, They're very fuss free for the most part. I mean, mm -hmm. we really don't have, thank goodness, like very many issues. We That's yeah. why we do these videos because we're here to give you support. So a lot of our customers are all over the United States. So it's very important for us to give you guys support via video, text message, email, through the Facebook group. Yeah, um, just to make sure. sure, you know, you guys are really understanding the full capabilities of your machine machines because they're awesome and when you get used to them and you know how to use them you're just cruising you're having mm -hmm. a good time so um, we really do pride ourselves in the customer service aspect here is making sure that we put you on the right machine me and David and Gigi and everyone here our goal is not to sell you the most expensive machine yeah it's not we want to make sure the do. customer is happy because yeah. we really do deal with our customers yeah. after the sale not yeah. just before the sale we're not here just to sell you machines and never talk to you again because then we just have angry customers running around right. the United States What's looking the at us and that? saying they're not cool. You yeah, know? don't call them. <laughs> yeah, so how we get all of our customers is really just the amount of support we have to right. offer mm -hmm. and how we stand behind any of the products we sell Absolutely. even after the sale. We talk to some of our customers just for fun. Like they hit us up yeah. on email, they're like, hey, how That's you been? so cute, like come to my house, go fishing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally I've been fishing at a, a few customers' houses before. It's just so fun. They're We're just, just so super blessed. Sweet. We have the best customers. Mm -hmm. um, something I wanted to add really quick was when you are deciding which machine you want, we were talking about what fits your needs. Always take a, in account when you're buying a machine, yes, have it fit your needs, but also give yourself a little bit of room to grow, okay? Sure. Because you don't wanna constantly have to change out machines. That's an expensive hobby to keep changing out. Mm -hmm. So when you are looking into purchasing your machine, fulfill <clears throat> those needs, but also set a couple goals of where you'd like to be and let that machine be capable to reach those goals because that way you're giving yourself right now and a little bit later, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, you so, wanna grow into your machine yeah. because if you get something that you're already maximizing its full yeah. Um, features, you're then gonna you're going to outgrow it pretty quick, and yeah. then before you know it, you're going to be ready for an upgrade again. Yep. So keep that in mind. For sure. So is there anything else we want to kind of go over computerized machines? I think we kind of hit the nail on the head on everything. Um, I know we didn't go very like super deep into anything, yeah. but that's what all those comparison videos are for, so I would definitely check those check out. Check the description of this video because yes. we're going to have our contact information, comparison charts, mm -hmm. we're going to have uh, the comparison videos that we have on the Top yep. Dogs, that's the DX right. series, the F series. I don't think we have too many comparisons on the travel machines, but you can check out the comparison charts. Yeah, or call us, email us if you have more specific questions about those, mm -hmm. and then um, let them know to watch the bag making video too. Yes, so we do have a bag making video uh, that we did actually, I think it was last week it was uploaded, or two weeks ago it's gonna be uploaded because this video is gonna be a couple weeks from now. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll kind of, we'll put that in the description and yeah. it goes over what machine's best for your bag making purposes. Mm -hmm. So if you're wondering that, and maybe you watch this whole video and you're like, oh, I wanted to know what machine was best for bag making, click that video because that we <laughs> really highlight all that information yeah. in that video really well too. Yeah. Um, so I think that's pretty much Lots of scenarios, it. yeah. So I hope this kind of helps like get it in your head a little bit in mm -hmm. which category you feel like you'd fit. At least if you have an idea right now, you can head over to the comparison videos. Um, but if you're still really stuck between maybe two or three models, feel free to reach out to us. David or I or Gigi, and we'll all help you out here to make sure you have the right machine. Always head over to jukijunkies.com for prices, for accessories, for threads, needles. I mean, we have it all on jukijunkies.com. Join our Facebook group. Yes, it's Our free. Facebook group is amazing. We have <laughs> yeah. over 20,000 members it's so great. just on Juki. It's Literally just awesome. on Juki machines. That's all we talk about. We pretty much answer all the questions for support on there. Yep. Um, or if we don't, there's 20,000 people that will help. So <laughs> And they're so helpful, and we filter through everybody. It's a very good community. Yeah. We have literally every post is filtered through, every person that's accepted is filtered through, mm -hmm. so make sure to answer all the questions because we really want to make sure it's a very clean, family-friendly group Absolutely. that has just good information. Yeah. There's no oh, no. ads or anything fake yeah, out there. Yeah, we don't there. do that. Yeah, we don't so do that. it's a really good group to join <laughs> if you have it's questions fun. or you want to learn more. That's right. So just Make sure you guys like this video, comment down below maybe future videos that you want to see like this. Yeah. This is a great video for you just to turn on while you sew or while you drive and just yeah. listen in. It's fun to listen to. And it's fun for us because, I mean. Oh, with no breaks, like no yeah. cuts, one cut just for the intro. And it's then a little like, scary sometimes because yeah. we're like, oh, we're going like, to run out of things everything? to say. Yeah. <laughs> and we probably did forget stuff. So just leave comments down below yeah. if there is anything you want to learn that we didn't mention. Or tell us which machine you have. If you have a Juki computerized machine, tell us which one you have and mm -hmm. tell us what you love about it. So if someone out there can read that and feel good and be like, you know what, I really wanted that machine. That made me feel good to read that. So yes. do that too. So we'll see you guys next Sunday. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>